Ah, Nevada. Home to all manner of folksy cryptids and cool dads. Guess I'll have to pack this after my next shift. Tess? Yeah? Come down to the basement. There's something I want to show you. The basement? What is it? Oh, it's nothing really. Remember, uh... This? Gah! <laughs> I love it! Where did this masterpiece come from? Your Aunt August made it. When she was a kid. It's Lady, the dog we had when we were growing up. And Aunt August isn't a rich and famous artist now? <laughs> well, she is one of those things. Not a famous artist, though. <laughs> We've still got a little while before we actually move out, right? Like, a week? Yeah, about... The estate sale was... Weird. Having all those people in the house, picking through Grandma's stuff. I'm glad it's over. <sighs> yeah, me too. Are you okay? Mom. I just... <sighs> we took care of your grandmother right up to the end, and... And now they're selling the house out from under us. I know. Wanna just... <sighs> Take a minute and look around and see what's left. I haven't really gone through everything since the sale ended. Yeah, me neither. That sounds really nice. 
just looking through what's still here. Aside from this hell picture. <laughs> Amazing that no one bought it, right? Just shocking. <laughs> uh. So you're all packed up, right? Good to go? Uh, oh my god. Uh. Just remember that it needs to be done by Wednesday so we can get everything out of here on time. I know. Ooh, so dapper. Was this Grandpa's? Oh, hey. It's August. Ugh, exhausted. The state sale was a lot. But... <laughs> that's easy for you to say. Yeah, I remember. And the answer is still no. I... Well... The what? Oh, right. Right. Sorry, it hasn't exactly been at the front of my mind. Yeah, it's around here, somewhere. No, it's fine. Okay. Love you. Bye. Unbelievable. What did she say? Nothing helpful. Is she still not gonna help us with the house? No. She was just calling to ask me to find some book of hers. Any idea where it could be? It must be upstairs somewhere, in your grandma's things. It has a red and black cover, white block lettering. I'll know it when I see it. Okay, let's go. I am the very model of a modern major general. La 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 da 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 mineral.
Oh, somebody bought Grandma's old writing desk? And her typewriter. He said he was an advice columnist, too, and wanted to use them for his writing. He said your grandmother was a real inspiration. He left a very nice note. And a lot of money? Well, it was just an old desk. But it had sentimental value. For us, maybe. And for him, obviously. Can I see the note? Sure. Well, okay. I guess it's all right that he got it. <laughs> Glad you approve. Grandma's advice column was popular, wasn't it? For a little while, yeah. I felt really lucky that I got to ask her for advice face to face. I remember when we went to that one book signing when I was a little kid. You remember that? Yeah. I mean, people in the audience seemed so excited and nervous to get to ask her their questions right there in person. Sometimes when I'd ask Grandma for advice, she'd start off with, don't tell Millie, but... I think she saved her special advice for me. Well, she could have given some advice to herself and realized that taking out three mortgages on her house wasn't such a good idea. Hmm. Could August's book be up in the attic? Could be. Wanna go up and check? Uh, how, how do we open it? I, I can't reach it. Oh, we need the attic hook thing. I left it in my room. Oh, here it is. The attic hook thing. Okay, come on up! <coughs> Damn, it's dusty. Now, where's that book? Whoa. Grandma 
grandma's wedding dress? I wore it on my wedding day, too. And you can wear it when you get married. Definitely. I knew you would. Well, <laughs> you didn't know. Oh, I knew. I've always thought this was such a beautiful dress, and I'd always wanted to hand it down to you. Like your grandmother handed it down to me. Those sound like you reasons. Well, you just said you definitely want to wear it for your wedding, so I guess there are you reasons, too. <sighs> what? Nothing. It's a really nice dress. Let's just keep looking around. What's under here? Uh, here, let me grab that. I'll put it up here to look through. Hmm. <sighs> yeah, there's a bunch of old stuff in here. But... Uh... Mom? Hold on, it might still be here somewhere. There's... something... Ah, here it is. Maybe if your dad had read this, he wouldn't have stopped working at the video store. Mom! What's in there? Ah, oh, this is just some junk from the old summer house. Your family had a summer house? Well, it was more of a cottage, I guess. We spent the summers up there for a long time. And you've never taken me to visit? Well, I haven't been there since I was your age. We just stopped going one summer. The summer after my dad died. I think there were just too many memories there. Oh my god. What? Aren't you seeing it? Seeing what? Right here! Behind them? That's a freshly covered hole. Uh-huh. It's obviously the location of the buried bootlegger gold. In our backyard, you mean? Indubitably. Lady probably buried a bone there. Dogs don't really do that. Only cartoon dogs do that. Only cartoon dogs bury bones, but real-life bootleggers bury gold in people's backyards? In 1968? It was a different time, Mother. Sure. Well, whoever this guy was, it sure seems like he and Grandma had something pretty intense going on. Was Grandma Helen... Planning to run off with this guy? No! Not the Helen I knew. <gasps> Intrigue! Grandma, what were you up to? Grandma's... diary? Should we? Oh, I don't think... we should really... Oh, Grandma wouldn't have cared. I'm dead. What difference does it make to me? I can hear her saying it now. What is this? So, Grandma and this guy were definitely together before Grandpa died? And they were gonna run away together? You never heard about this? No, this is- a And what is this key to? Why is it hidden in here? Something at the summer home, I assume. I okay, well, now we've gotta go check the whole place out. 
Maybe we'll find that bootlegger gold? Oh, not this again. And to see if we can figure out what really happened with Grandma Helen and the mystery man. Don't you want to know? I don't know, Tess. I, we still have so much to do around here. Come on. It'll be fun. An adventure. I still need to call Tina at the theater and finish cleaning out the fridge. Come on. We never get to do stuff together. You spend all your time at the theater, and I spend all my time in school. When, when was the last time we were able to do something? To talk? Well... You do want to know, don't you? I can see it, Mom. I can see it in your face. <sighs> oh, God. You know, a little change of scenery would be nice. Ha, that's the spirit. We could spare a weekend before we have to move for a little road trip, right? To tie up some loose ends. Right. And some of those little towns along the way are great for antiquing. Yeah, sure. All right, it's a deal. Let's hit the road and see what we find. I could really use a break from all this, even if it's just for a weekend. Pack your overnight bag. Yes! And bring your homework. I don't need you falling behind at school. Do you really think we're going to find buried gold at your grandma's old summer home? Well, no, not really. It's like Bigfoot. He's just... Fun to look for. I see. Like Nessie, like like X-Files. I don't remember that episode of X-Files. The one where they look for buried gold? Why would the FBI send them to look for buried gold? The government's always looking for money. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. Well, if I find it, you'll be the first to know. And then the government. What about August's book? We can FedEx it to her when we get back. Okay. A road trip! This is gonna be great. What highway are we on anyway? Oh, this is the old two-lane north route from before there was a freeway. <laughs> it used to be the main route north, but now it's pretty off the beaten path. It's the way we always took to get up to the summer place when I was growing up, though. So I wanted to take it again. Kind of... desolate. It didn't used to be. But with all the traffic going up the freeway now, everything... kind of died off. When did you say the last time you were at this summer house was? 
Oh, when I was, I guess, 15? Your age? I'm 16. I meant about your age. <laughs> so, a super long time ago. Wow. No one's been there since, like, the 19th century. <laughs> ha ha. What was the Industrial Revolution like? <laughs> Tess, I wouldn't know. Did you ever meet Galileo? <laughs> Jesus, how old do you think I am? I mean, I'm just estimating. It, it's a rough estimate. It's a rough estimate. <laughs> I'll say. It was the 60s, I think, summer of 68. 1968. So, like, 35 years ago? And you say you're bad at math. What was it like? The summer house? And the dark ages, but yeah, the summer house. <laughs> I just always really liked it there. It was an escape. From what? Everything, I guess. School, town, same old. Every day just felt like it was ours when we were there. Sounds really nice. So why did we never go? I don't know. It was somewhere I always associated with being a kid. Yeah, we stopped going as a family when I was your age, and then I went off to college and then married your father. Did Dad even know about this place? I can't imagine Dad passing up a free summer home where he could just hang out and do nothing all day. So you're saying your father is lazy? No, Dad's a hard worker. <laughs> okay. He'd work late at the video store all the time. He'd be there with the closing shift. Watching movies on the store monitors. <laughs> You've got to have something on for the customers. Closing is a pain in the butt. And he'd manage the schedules and store finances. He even made the window displays. Fine, those were pretty cool. No. I mean, I guess there is a real reason I never told your father about the old summer place. Because I knew he would never have put in the work to actually fix it up so we could use it. It needed a lot of work? Well, not last I saw it, but being unoccupied for decades out there in the middle of nowhere? It's gotta be falling apart. It could still be in good shape. Maybe somebody's been, you know, keeping it up. <laughs> you hope squatters have been living in it? No, like, you know, like, shoe elves. <laughs> I mean, it'd, it'd be nice if it were magically still in good shape. Considering we need a new place to live. To live in? Tess, I, I'm sorry, it's... You couldn't live there, and not, not year-round. Why not? Well, it doesn't have central heat, or even really insulation. It's a summer home, not a winter home. Fine. Then where are we going to live? I don't know yet. We're gonna be living in this car, aren't we? No! Cause it feels like we're about to be living in the car. We can find an apartment. How are you even going to pay for an apartment? The theater company, uh, you know. I thought you said it was underwater. Well, you know, it's not doing great, but- Mom. What? We need money. Believe me, Tess, I know. <sighs> if Dad was still here. Excuse me? He, he could help. Pay for things. If your father and I were still together, we wouldn't be in this situation in the first place. Well, have you asked Dad if he could send back some money? To help? Absolutely not. <laughs> he, he doesn't have the money. But Dad moved out west. For work. <laughs> what? Don't laugh at me. I'm not. I'm not. It's just... work. Sure. It, it wasn't for work? Then, then what was it then? I think I deserve to know. If he hasn't told you his side of the story, I'm not gonna step in and take that responsibility for him. Like I always did. Your father left me in a hell of a situation. 
We made all these decisions together. Do you not understand that? We made decisions that depended on us both, you know, sticking around. I didn't plan for any of this. You idealize your father, you know that? And I just don't really want to talk about it right now. Fine. Let's never talk about it. Let's never talk about anything important. What are you doing back there? Are you going to do your homework? No. Reading in the car makes me carsick. Then what are you messing with back there? I don't know. So stop it. It's not safe. Are you sending text messages to someone? Yes. Yes, I am. To who? It's to whom, Mother? It was Dad. Hmm. Just getting his side of the story, huh? Uh... No comment. It's all right. Having a common enemy can help bring people together. You're not my enemy. Or Dad's. Sometimes it feels that way. Well, it's... not supposed to. Mom! My god. Are you okay? I... I just didn't think it would still be here. Um, Mom, it... Well, it is. <laughs> and it looks to be surprisingly well-preserved. It's... Well, it's not just like I remember it. <laughs> A little more... Falling apart? Weathered. Than the last time I was here. But I guess I am too. Want to start looking around? Yeah. It's out there. Somewhere. That buried bootlegger gold. Uh-huh. Bigfoot, too, I hear. Do you think he found the gold already? What makes you so sure Bigfoot's a he? Oh, I love it. Equal opportunity cryptids. Very forward thinking. It's 2003, Tess. Anyone can be a Bigfoot. Did you do these with Grandma? No, August did. I never had a green thumb. She loved helping my mother in the garden. Really? Why do you say it like that? I don't know. Can you picture August getting her hands dirty out in the garden now? <laughs> I guess not. 
<laughs> but if my mother was ever out in the garden, she was out there with her, helping the best she could. I remember one year, maybe when she was six, she started crying so hard when it came time to pick the berries and vegetables. But the plants worked so hard growing them. You can't just take them. Aw. Well, now I feel bad for the plants. She was a sensitive kid. So am I. So what happened? Hmm? To August. She doesn't seem so sensitive now. Oh. Life happened, I guess. Is this, uh... Is this a trailer home? It's a mobile home. What did I just say? They're not the same thing. A trailer home hooks up to the back of a truck and can be towed around. You can take it from place to place. A mobile home arrives on a trailer, like towed by a big truck. Go on. <sighs> a mobile home doesn't have wheels. Well, why didn't you just say that? Well, I, I will admit, it took me a moment to untangle the nuances. Well, would you look at this? A postcard from the mystery man. What was he running from? His conscience? <laughs> I don't know if you can outrun your conscience by going to Canada. You can if, uh... I'm trying to think of a Canada joke. It's not working. That's okay. I'll give you an A for effort. <laughs> <gasps> Bested! Oh, look at this big pink guy. <laughs> Kurt won that for me. At the fair. Kurt? We... well... We met at the drive-in diner. <gasps> you had a summer fling? <laughs> I... well... Was he cute? I thought he was very handsome. And he rode a motorcycle. Oh my god, a bad boy? It... Well, honestly, I fell for him pretty hard that summer. It was pretty, uh... Cool? On his motorcycle? <laughs> he was very... romantic. Oh, no. <laughs> no, not like that. Well, a little like that. Oh, no. So, what happened? Did you break up with him, or...? Uh, I don't remember. It was just a summer thing, it doesn't really matter. Wow. Did I hit a nerve? Hey, maybe we should keep looking around for more relevant things?
What's in here? That's just August's old room. Let's try and find some other way in. A little tiny key. What do you think it's for? Probably unlocking something. Ugh. Maybe a desk drawer? Aha! They were really gonna run away together, huh? He thought so anyway. Whoever he was. Why do you think Grandma decided not to run off with him? Well, maybe she just came to her senses. She could have gotten swept up in all the emotions and everything after Father died, and then when the time came, she thought better of it. Maybe. Or... Maybe something super messed up happened. <laughs> like what? Um... Okay. He was driving on these secluded back roads and whatnot, and he picks up a hitchhiker. And the hitchhiker gets in, and he asks him where he's headed. And the hitchhiker says, All the way to the end of the line, man. And the hitchhiker's just staring off into the distance like he's lost at some faraway place. And then all of a sudden, with no warning, he pulls out this huge rusty bowie knife. It's actually pronounced Bowie. What? No, it's like the last name, like David Bowie. Different last name. Bowie. Are you just messing with me? No, that's how it's pronounced. Okay, well, anyway, maybe this guy got killed by a crazy hitchhiker. That's all I'm saying. Well, that would be super messed up. Nightshade? It was because he could only come out at night. Or stay in the shade, as I remember it. Okay, well that's spooky as hell. August was just a kid. She needed someone to talk to. Did it have to be a freaky, imaginary friend who lurked in the shadows? I mean, what about you or Grandma Helen? Well, I was a teenager. I don't think I was the most, I don't know, compassionate at that age. I had my own problems. If I had a little sister, and Dad died, I'd be there for her to talk to. It's different. You don't know what having a little sister is like. Are you trying to say you were justified in not helping your little sister when she was grieving after her father died? I helped! I did. I mean, we were all there for each other, but... I could have used more help, too. I don't think I had anything left to give. So August made a new friend for herself, one who would always listen.
Sheesh, what happened here? Looks like the wall gave way. Water damage, I guess. What is this thing? It's the water heater. Oh, that, that's why you said water damage. I get it, I'm following along. Well, it's not going anywhere now. Can we climb over it? No! God, look at all that rusty metal. I'm up on my tetanus shots, aren't I? We're not risking it. Well, what's that thingy back there? Hmm, it's a maintenance hatch? For getting down into the crawl space under the house. Is there any other way into the crawl space? I think there's a way to get in from around the back. Why are you acting so excited? Well, if we could get into the crawl space, we could climb back up out of that hatch and get over to that side of the mobile home to find more stuff. I'm not sure why you're using the plural here. And also, I really want to see if there's any cool, creepy stuff under there. Like a skeleton. Listen, you can give it a peek if you want, but there is no way I'm crawling under there with you. You're on your own. Hey, no problem. More cool, creepy stuff for me. So, this is how we get into the crawl space? You keep saying we. So, this is how intrepid people with an innate sense of curiosity get into the crawl space? Among other personality traits, yes. Fine then, I'll go it alone. You're probably too frail to get in here anyway. Those creaky knees of yours. Wow. Okay, into the filthy crawl space you go. See you on the other side. Ooh, this is good. Mom's gotta see this. Mom, I found a way in. Hang on, I'll open the back door. Hey, Mom? I found something. Look, look! Another letter. He wanted to live with Grandma on a boat? Maybe we can figure out where the boat was by looking at the photo. It looks like... well... It looks like a boat. A houseboat. Hmm. Can't see much of the surrounding area. It's near... trees? Maybe we can look for some of those. A place in Canada with trees. That narrows it down. Go mechanics! Oh man, I forgot that August had this. I let her keep it when I moved into the van. But August didn't even go to Ford State. She almost did. We were both so excited to, growing up. Don't you remember Grandma talking about how much she loved it? I remember her talking about how sexist it was. Yeah, well, everything was sexist back then. But we're a Ford State family! You'll be a triple legacy! Yeah, I guess. It'll be so exciting! Oh man, you're gonna love it. Eating lunch at Ford Hall, doing all-nighters in the library. Oh, there was this time when Lucy and I broke into the art building after hours. <laughs> I don't even know if I want to go to college. What do you mean you don't know if you want to go to college? Of course you're going. 
I can make my own choices. What kind of choice is that? To be broke? I'm not gonna be broke. I've been working really hard on my design business. And August didn't go to college. August was lucky. She's talented, but she's also lucky. When I'm 18... Look, I, I don't want to talk about this anymore. It's not a discussion. Fine. This looks like it's for a car or something. Oh, that's the key to my old van out front. August was always stealing the keys so she could get in there and mess with my stuff. Well, well. Look who's gonna be messing with your stuff now. No video games back then, I guess. Poor, deprived kids. Oh, how fun! Wait, did they not get to use these? Poor kid. Did she get made fun of a lot? At school and stuff? I think she got picked on when she was little, but she toughened up. I guess right around this age, when we came back from our last summer trip. What changed? I don't know. Oh my god, Aunt August. I have so many questions. I mean, fair enough. You gotta go along to get along. Oh, that's not what this is. She's telling her to act her age, not conform. Isn't that the same thing? Of course not. What happens if you don't look out and meet friends who you get along with perfectly? I feel like there are people for everyone, but what if you never meet them? Ships in the night. Most people meet them later in life. Meeting a good friend in grade school is incredibly lucky. But what does someone like that do? Just have no friends? Get bullied by a bunch of twerps? Grandma just wanted her to have friends. Don't act like you didn't buy me hush puppies in seventh grade. You said you wanted those. I wanted them because I wanted to have friends, not because I thought they were cute. That's terrible. Those were expensive. So what? So you compromise a little aesthetically and you can maintain your interior uh, individuality. You know what I mean? Clothes are the most boring form of expression. What am I gonna do, get a nose ring to be different so I can look like every other person with a nose ring? You are a very strange teenager, Tess. <laughs> See, I've maintained my individuality. What? This map could only be the directions to the lost bootlegger gold. Tess, this was clearly drawn by a child. Perhaps it was a particularly childlike bootlegger. Seems more like August to me. Looks like she was just playing buried treasure. Do you think there'd be anything there to dig up that was left behind? It'd be like a time capsule. Maybe she was going to come back for it later. It was her first investment. <laughs> she got started early. I don't know. Let's just go see what it is.
Now, what is this? During the summers when we'd come here, I had a summer job as a waitress at the drive-in. On roller skates? Like in the movies? Yeah, I guess. And those movies were based on reality, you know. You are cute! Oh, I don't know. Oh, please, Mom, stop. You were cute then, and you're, uh, hot mom now. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> According to the boys at school, you are my hot mom. You didn't know about this? What? No! I am not. Oh, yeah. No, it's it's great. It's great having all the boys at school talking about how hot your mom is. It's great. Regardless, this photo of you is real neat, and I think we should keep it. Sure. Why not? Precious stone? This was to you? Subtle, right? <sighs> My mother was against me and Kurt being together from the start. To be fair, I would go off to who knows where with him and sometimes not come back till the morning. Now I understand how worried she must have been as a mother. <gasps> you were a bad kid? Do you ever thank your lucky stars I'm not a bad kid? I don't know. You and Francine can stay up pretty late. <laughs> Playing The Sims and eating pizza rolls. <laughs> yeah, you kids are wild these days. What's in here? That was my mom and dad's room. Well, just my mom's room last we were here. Well, dang it, that door stuck. I think... Look, we could twist the latch open if... I think I could get this open with a flathead screwdriver. Awesome. Where's one of those? Um... Oh, I had a little toolkit in the glove box of my van. Nice. Oh, it's everything I'd imagined. It's got an ugly lamp, an acoustic guitar, <laughs> a concerning scent of mold? I mean, what do you expect? It's been under this carport for 30 years. That's why I'm not coming inside. Okay, I'll just look around and get out. It is kind of gross in here. You're just looking for the screwdriver, right? Right. Don't get too nosy, all right? All right, all right. But look at all this stuff. Wow. Mom was even into theater back then. Huh. Alas, not so groovy anymore.
Find anything? Well, I found, um... This. You guys didn't just drift apart at the end of the summer, did you? No. I came to work at the diner one night, and they said someone had left a note for me. And it was this stupid thing. <laughs> that sucks, Mom. I just felt like such an idiot. I'd put all my energy into plans, planning how we'd be able to stay together, planning how our life was going to be, planning how he'd be the answer for how I was going to be okay. And then one day, this. I don't know if I've ever cried as much as I did for the week after I got this. He seems like maybe he just wanted something different than you. Uh, well, he could have told me that. Instead, he just played along, told me what I wanted to hear. Until one day it was just goodbye. Not even face to face, just this selfish little note. And he was gone. There was a lesson I should have learned that summer. You can't rely on other people. What? If you put your trust in other people, if you expect them to be there for you, one day they won't be. So what, you shouldn't have friends or relationships? Well, no, I just mean you can care about other people, but you have to be ready for them to go away and be okay on your own when they do. Are you... You're making it sound like... Are you saying Dad left you? I thought you said you both agreed to get divorced. <clears throat> well, either way, he's not here, is he? Mom, what happened with you and Dad splitting up? He always makes it sound like... Like you wanted him to leave, but... He does? I, I mean, I... If he's telling you I wanted this, I... <laughs> <laughs> See? This is why you need to be okay on your own. If you're fine on your own, when they leave, you don't have to feel this way. Remember that. Well... I've got the screwdriver. Good. That's good. Ah, door, we meet again, but this time, I'm ready for you. Hey, good work. Thanks, Mom. Ah, oh, my mom loved this desk. I remember when she brought it home from the flea market. Jeez, how many desks did Grandma have? <sighs> uh, kind of a lot, I guess. I mean, she was a writer. She liked to move around. Well, let's see what she was hiding in here. Ugh, it's locked. Hmm. This gives me an idea. The little key from Grandma's diary? What's that? What? I'm sorry. What? What does he mean? When he says those are his kids? Uh, I... Well, was Grandpa Leo not your real dad? I... 
Could that have been why he was trying to run away with you in August and Grandma Helen? I can't even imagine. Look, look, Mom. Look. This one. This note. It has a return address. Pierre Lautrec. Box 9. Hop to Lake, Carndale, Ontario. We should go check it out. What? No. No? But... Tess, we already drove however many hours up here and dug around getting dirty and all this stuff. I'm not driving us to Canada based on some return address from over 30 years ago. We have the rest of the house to pack up and I still need to call the electric company to schedule our end of the service, which I probably should have done sooner and move- Mom, stop. The house can wait a day. This can't. The house actually can't wait. A day? I mean, come on. It can't be that far of a drive. It says it's right across the border. And if we don't do it now, you think we're really ever going to come back? You could find out who this guy really was. Who your father really was. Who we really are. But not if we just turn around and go home. Okay, listen. Yes. Hey, I I'm not doing this because of your sterling rhetorical skills. You didn't win this one. I just happen to agree with you. I do want to know who my mother might have been mixed up with, and, and why she never told me about it, and who my real father is. And if we go check out this address, we might find nothing. But we might find something. So if one more day of driving is all it takes to find out one way or the other... Then why not, right? Right? right. Glad I could convince you. No, you just happened to be right. Exactly. Glad you came around to see things my way in the end. Okay. Should we get going? It's getting dark. Yeah. Let's find somewhere to stay for the night. We'll look up directions. Get back on the road in the morning. Hotel night. We're getting room service. Thank you, Mom. Best weekend ever. But we didn't find that hidden fortune you were so excited about. Yeah. Maybe it's on the other side of the border. <laughs> Maybe. Come on, let's get out of here. All right, time to order that room service. Uh, this is not the kind of place that has a room service. I'm sorry. What? Hotels do room service. This is a motel. Just like the summer place was a mobile home and not a trailer. Right, but the other way around. But there's a restaurant and lounge right next door, though. I'm gonna head down there and get us dinner, okay? And I'm going to have a cocktail while I wait. It's been a long day. I'll be back with something to eat soon. Well, all right. That's almost like room service. What do you want to eat? Oh, um, burger? Um, burger it is. Do your homework.
It's burger time. How's that homework coming along? Fine. How was the restaurant? Ugh, overpriced. But I guess that's the price you pay for convenience. Here's your burger. Thanks. Enjoy. I'm gonna call August. Tell her I said hi. August? Guess where I am? At a motel in Poetan. <laughs> Tess and I took a little road trip. She says hi. We paid a visit to the old summer house. You remember the summer house? Mobile home. Yes, it's still there. Anyway, we came away with some questions about mom and dad. I just... Do you think... Could dad have... Oh. Yeah, she's here. Hold on. She wants to talk to you. I'm going out for a smoke, back in a few. Hello, Teresa. Hi, Aunt August. This is all... It's pretty crazy, huh? Yeah, that's one word for it. How do you feel about it? I... honestly, I'm not sure. Me neither. It's so... surreal. I can't imagine Grandma having an affair. But I also don't think she would have if it wasn't the right thing to do. Yeah. It seems pretty out of character, but... She was an interesting person. My dad... I was still pretty young when our dad died. For your mom, I think this is all a lot harder on your mom than on me. I never really knew him. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's all right. I've spent enough on therapy to almost be over it. Did you guys find anything out there? I haven't been since we were kids. We found some of your old art. Stuff you made as a kid. Oh, that's so fun. I was a creative kid. Do you ever do that kind of stuff now? Well, no, not really. Not as much as I'd like to. Although I have to do a lot of creative stuff at work. But it would be nice to get back into writing. And what about drawing? <laughs> I was a dedicated artist, but never a very good one. I'll leave the visual stuff to you. What about the house? What was it like? It, uh... It was pretty beat up. Yeah. I'm surprised it was still standing. I guess part of me hoped we could just move out there. <laughs> move out there? Oh my gosh. You're breaking my heart. You'd rather live in the middle of nowhere than in Chicago? What? With me, in the townhouse. Didn't your mom say? No. What about mom? Can can she stay with you? Of course. Both of you. But she doesn't want to. What do you mean? She... <sighs> Look, you should talk to her about it. It isn't my place. But why didn't... Oh, hold on. Work is calling. Uh, I gotta go. Love you, Teresa. L love you too, Anne August. And Jocelyn is looking at him, and it's so obvious that she forgot her line. And of course she did, because she only got off book a few days before. And he's just staring at her. Uh-huh. And Todd needs her to say it, otherwise the whole scene makes no sense, and it's dead quiet. 
It's opening night. And so then she just says, who are you? The pirate of Penzance? Tess. What? Are you even listening to what I'm saying? Yeah, Pirates of the Caribbean, I'm listening. If you want to just drive quietly for a while, that's fine. I can do that. Wait, where's my cell phone? Did I put it in the glove box? Oh no. What? My cell phone. I left my cell phone at the hotel. Are you sure? Yes, I looked everywhere. It's not in the glove box. It's not in my backpack. I, I don't have the charger either. I, I must have left it on the charger at the hotel. We have to go back and get it. Tess, we have been driving for over an hour already. We are not driving all the way back to the motel just so you can have your phone for one day. You don't understand! It might be gone if we don't go back for it. I'm sure it'll be in the motel lost and found. We can pick it up on the way home. Mom, we have to turn around. We haven't been driving for an hour. We yes, could... we have. We left one hour and 18 minutes ago. Well, we can drive faster on the way back. I am not breaking the speed limit and getting pulled over and getting a ticket because you can't wait till tonight to get You know, your... I, I wouldn't have left my phone there if it wasn't for you. Y y you were lying to me, and I was so distracted, and now, and now you won't even go back and- Hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I was lying to you? When was I lying to you? You didn't tell me we could stay with August. <sighs> Why would you just lie to me and say August was unwilling to help us? I didn't... I didn't lie. I... She doesn't want to help. Helping would be buying the house, and when I asked, she said no. But she offered to let us stay with her. And I said no. There's a million reasons why that's a bad idea. <laughs> At least we'd be sleeping in a bed and not a car. We aren't gonna sleep in the car. I'll figure something out. Aren't you concerned? We have no plan. You have no plan. I have a plan. I... Money might be tight, but it's not like I don't have a job. Why don't you like August? Excuse me? Where did you get that idea? You always act like she's a pain when she's just trying to help. It's like you're jealous of her. First of all, I am not jealous of her. It's a lot easier to make money when you live by yourself. Especially if you're so far away. Your own family is an afterthought. I had to do all the work for Grandma. August just stayed in Chicago. You're making her sound so selfish. She's not like that. You've never lived with her, Tess. It's not gonna be like your little vacation. August thinks she knows what's best for everyone. I can't be around someone like that every day. Wow, I can't imagine what that feels like. Do you think you're the only person with problems and the rest of us are just running around doing whatever? You're exhausting. No wonder dad left. Don't bring your dad into this. Why not? Why can't we talk about dad, actually talk about dad for once? The divorce, the... I don't want to have this discussion right now. Fine. You don't want to have this discussion? I'll just find out when I go to Nevada. What? When I see Dad when I go next month. You're not going to Nevada next month. Yes, I am. I already have the tickets. What do you mean? With what money? From my business, I'm going- From your business. <sighs> I can't believe you. That you would go behind my back? If you just told me what was happening, I wouldn't have to. I wouldn't have to ask Dad to tell me the truth. The truth? Please. Oh, so that's what this is all about, huh? You want to know what's the truth? Fine. Here's the truth. The divorce wasn't mutual. I divorced him. You... Your father announced he was going to Reno to become a full-time gambler and expected me to say, Oh, sure, honey. 
feel free to abandon me and my daughter and dying mother to try out your next get-rich-quick scheme. What? What kind of person would think a marriage could work with that kind of distance? So then I have to be the bad guy, just like always. He gets to run away and be the fun parent, and I have to be the mean mom and do all the work. So I divorced him. I'm sure he's just as proud of his new job as I am, and that's why you're hearing about it now. Uh... So sure, go to Nevada, ask him all about it. I'm sure he'll tell you the truth. It's a dead end. It's not a dead end. We just have to get out and walk. Where, Tess? I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. I think it's through here. Thanks for the help, by the way. <sighs> Look, I know you're upset. We both are. Let's just get in, see what we can find about Pierre, and get out before I change my mind. Agreed. Latrec? That's the name of the mystery man. Think he's got mail? Hmm. Guess we'll never know. It's locked anyway. Maybe that's for the best. Tampering with other people's mail is illegal. How are we supposed to get on board? Maybe there's something around here we can use. This is so stupid. We're trespassing. We need to go back home. But we... What if you fall off and break your neck, Tess? Or who knows what's even in that boat? Or if the floorboards are all rotted or... or... But we're already here, and the trailer home- Mobile home. The mobile home was fine. I, I just think, if we go back now, what's the point? Don't you want to know what happened to Grandma? To find Pierre? <sighs> okay, fine. You stay here, and I'll see what I can find. No, you can't go in without me. Don't tell me what I can't do, Tess. No matter how grown up you think you might be, I'm still your mother. I- you're right. I'm sorry. I just... We've done all of this so far together. I just don't want to give that up. <sighs> all right. We'll do it together. But I should go first. No, I should go. No way! What if you fall off? I could say the same to you. I should go first. I'm not gonna let my poor, aged mother walk across a rickety bridge before I'm sure it's safe. Let's flip a coin. Call it heads or tails. Tails. I lost? 
In a manner of speaking. After you. All right. Here I go. Careful. Not very climactic. Not quite as scary as I thought. Yeah, this thing is pretty sturdy. Especially for just sitting out here for a few decades. Let's hope we can say the same for the rest of the boat. Dodge this! The burglary ring! Mom, Grandma's boyfriend here was a bank robber. <sighs> Why else would he have this? Maybe my mother... sent it to him. For what? To keep him abreast of current events. Oh, come on, Mom. Grandma had a thing going with a bank robber. How cool is that? Well, okay, they didn't rob any banks. It was the jewelry counters at department stores and things like that. Department store robber doesn't quite have the same ring to it. And it wasn't robbery. It was burglary. What's the difference? A robbery is when you take something from someone under duress. A burglary, you take it when they're unaware. I think. You think? Listen, it's been a while since I've brushed up on my criminology. And why are they so sure it was meant? What? It says the men broke into the store, but there were no witnesses. So how do they know it was men? You're thinking lady robbers. Like Catwoman. <laughs> I like it. Very cinematic. Do you think Grandma could have helped? Are you seriously asking if I think my mother was an accomplice in all this? Why not? She had two kids at home, and I just don't see it. Seems like there was a lot about Grandma you weren't seeing. Excuse me? Am I wrong? <sighs> Maybe not. <clears throat> Attention every- Oh, man, what? This doesn't work. Should've seen that coming.
You tell him, Grandma. Yeah, not one to mince words. All those years of writing advice columns paid off, I guess. Kinda nice that she was thinking about you guys, too. Not just uprooting your life, dumping you in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. I can't imagine what it would have been like to grow up here. <laughs> You'd have to learn French. <gasps> Sacre bleu. <sighs> oh no, it's already happening. Oh, it's for four players. Sorry, Pierre. Boy, really getting into the sea captain persona, aren't we? Did the boat ever even leave this dock? Looks like a mailbox key. Oh, I was hoping that would turn up. I swear, you can be so nosy sometimes. Hmm. <sighs> so I guess that's it? Grandma and Pierre went to all this trouble and then Grandma just changed her mind? I think maybe she wasn't so convinced in the first place. Well then, why string Pierre along like this for so long? He bought a boat, and fixed up the kids' room, and everything? Maybe she just wasn't sure at first. Or didn't want to hurt him. Oh yeah, I bet he felt great about reading this. Wow, cool. Tess, don't touch that! Why not? It's just as grimy as anything else in this boat. Plus, I want to find out what the winter campus fashions were in 1968. Ugh, you don't know where that's been. It's literally been right here for 30 years. I mean before that. Like, <sighs> never mind. And I think it was fringe jackets. The winter campus fashions in 1968? And patterned tights. But really, put that down. Wow, 
This is from when Grandma was really young. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen this one. You look a lot like her. <laughs> really? I always thought I looked more like my father. Um, maybe you were just imagining things? What? Oh, you mean because he might not have been my father? Hmm. Huh. I suppose I can see the resemblance now that I think about it. You have her smile. A letter from Grandma! Can you imagine if my mother had actually moved us up here to stay? I'd be Canadian. You wouldn't even exist. Whoa. What? Well, who knows if I would have had a daughter if my whole life had changed back then. I certainly wouldn't have met your father. Wow. So, this is like looking into an alternate reality. I'd like to live in another reality. Like what? One where you and Dad were still together? I mean, I just wish you two were able to work things out. Well, it's not possible. There's no way to that reality from here. dollars for a houseboat are you saying that's a lot or a little these are like 1968 dollars right i mean three thousand dollars then is probably like ten thousand dollars yeah probably around that maybe even more so what else could you have bought for that much back then a car a nice car probably maybe yeah, so this crappy boat for the same amount you could buy, like, a sports car with? Seems like a lot. But you can live on a houseboat. You could live in a sports car, if you don't have a very high standard of living. Yeah, much higher standard of living on this rotting houseboat. Looks like Pierre tried to mail this, but he messed up the postage or something. Let's crack this bad boy open. Wait, opening other people's mail? I don't know, Tess. Oh, come on, Mom, live a little. We've already come so far. We can't just stop now, when we're so close to the truth. I suppose you have a point. Let's see what we've got here. So Pierre was my dad? 
He wrote this whole confession, but it never made it. It's been here ever since. I can't believe it. Well, it says right there. I... No, I mean rhetorically, Tess. Jeez. Right, right. Uh, I... <sighs> so my mother wasn't having an affair at all. Or whatever this would have been. Not except with Grandpa's secret identity. <sighs> so my father ha hadn't died when we thought he'd had a heart attack. He was just here, on this dock. We never got to know him. He, he was just a car ride away. August and I suffered over something that never even happened. It kind of did happen though, didn't it? As far as you knew, it did. You lived with that your whole life, so... So, to you, it did. <sighs> I can't believe I... I can't believe he just... abandoned us. All this time, he was... here. I, he gave up his family, his children. For an old boat and some booze. I wish I could have talked to him. Just one more time, and my mother living... a lie. For the rest of her life, I can't... I can't even imagine. <sighs> I just wish I could have talked to her about it. While she was alive, I just... Wish it didn't turn out this way? Yeah. If we could have just... She didn't have to carry all this alone. I can't believe she would do that to us, lie to us her whole life. Why didn't she say anything, even when we were all grown up? Maybe... maybe she was trying to protect you. Yeah, maybe. August was so little. But I was old enough to know the truth. I just wish we would have talked. So, that's it? He spent all his money, tried to send this confession, and disappeared, and he never came back? Do you think he could still be alive? I don't know. Honestly, I... I honestly don't care. It doesn't really matter, does it? Either way, he's gone. You don't want to keep going? Maybe we could find... No, I think we've found enough. Yeah. I'm sorry, Mom. He pretended to die. <laughs> but he really just left me, like everyone else. I didn't leave you. Well, maybe not yet. But your dad. <laughs> I thought you said you were the one who kicked dad out. I mean, well, it wasn't quite like that. I guess, listen, I'll give you the full story in the car. I'm freezing out here. Yeah, me too. <sighs> Tess, thanks for doing this, for coming with me. Of course. And for pushing me. To find out what happened. Just doing my job. I know I haven't been the best mom lately. But... But I am so lucky... To have such an incredible... Kind... Oh, mom. <laughs> beautiful... Hardworking... Stop, stop! You make me cry. <laughs> Just... Such... An amazing daughter. I love you, Mom. I love you too, honey. Hey, Mom. I was thinking about something. I wonder what Grandma would say about all this. <laughs> Good question. What do you think? I don't think she'd be too happy. Now, girls, I hid those private things away so people wouldn't find them. I don't know why you couldn't leave well enough alone. Well, if you didn't want people to find it, maybe you should have gotten rid of it. Well, okay. Maybe I did want you to find it. A little bit. So you asked about what happened? With me and dad. Uh-huh. Well, your dad, 
you know, was always looking for the next thing. I always had a new idea to try that was going to fix all his problems, our problems. And for a while, it was the video store. And then that sales thing, and then he decided that he was going to be a professional poker player. Is that what you meant by full-time gambler? Yeah. I mean, not really a gambler. He's not playing with his own money. It's all tournaments and stuff. They're playing as a sport. That's kind of cool. It's certainly, uh, interesting. Yeah, I mean, I guess he's following his dreams. He might not make it, but he is going for it. Mm, yeah. I mean, I guess I never really thought about it in that kind of light. I mean, I wish he could have been here, but he had a dream, and he had to follow it. I get it. Right, right, my little web entrepreneur. It's like Matt Damon in Rounders. It's not really like Rounders. I mean, he wins a lot in Rounders, and he's a lot more handsome. He must really like poker. He likes it. But I wouldn't say that's the real reason he left. The split came at a really hard time. The theater was doing worse, and I was spending all my time there. Then your grandmother started really declining and needed more and more help. I think when I decided we needed to move in with her to care for her, well, being a full-time caretaker for his mother-in-law was not something your father ever signed up for. <sighs> so he left for Nevada. He wanted to stay married, said we could make it work. But by that time... It was already over. Yeah, exactly. I realized that this... this was a pattern that would never really end. Do you blame me for ending it? I just wish he was here. I miss having him around. Yeah, it's hard to have a dad who just leaves. At least I can still text him. For you... I mean, we thought he died. Which was still awful, but... I guess it was way better than knowing he was there all along, just a day away. I'm sorry, Mom. Thanks, Tess. I'm glad that... Well... Your father has faults, but I don't think he'd ever fake his own death and never talk to you again. I mean, if there wasn't anything good about him, I wouldn't have married him in the first place. I'm sorry for buying the tickets. Oh. I should have talked to you first. I guess I thought, I don't know, that Dad, like, explain everything to me in a way that made sense and that he was living some great life out there. No, you... you shouldn't apologize. I'm sorry I didn't tell you earlier. I... I guess I was embarrassed. That I would have married such a ding-dong. Professional gambler. I didn't want to have to say it out loud. But I guess you can't keep running away from your problems forever. Now I have these tickets and I don't know what to do. I think you should go. To Reno? Yeah. I think it would be good for you to hear his side of the story. We may not always get along, but he's not a bad guy. And you guys have a good relationship. You should spend some time with him. I think it'd be good for both of you. Uh, are, are you sure, Mom? Yeah, I'm sure. But it's not over Thanksgiving, right? Oh, God, no. And Miss August's mac and cheese? Fat chance. I'm proud of you, Mom. <sighs> for what? What do you mean, for what? You're kick-ass. How many moms would stop packing up their house to drive their daughter all over Michigan to search for a family secret? Or run their own business, run a community theater? That's pretty cool. <laughs> all right, all right. Maybe not the brightest idea from a financial perspective, but it is pretty cool. Thanks, honey. That, and that means a lot. And speaking of businesses, that's pretty impressive that you made enough money to buy a plane ticket. Yeah, it's exciting that people are willing to pay me to design websites. 
Well, I've seen what you can do, and you do a great job. Oh, thanks, Mom. I'm serious. When I saw your web stuff, I mean, I don't always know what I'm looking at, but I know it looks good. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> An artist's eye, just like your grandma. And my mom. But maybe it skipped over my aunt. <laughs> oh, come on. Her painting wasn't that bad. <laughs> well, I guess... I guess I always imagined that you'd go to Ford, like Grandma and me. It's silly, but... But it's not fair of me. God knows I didn't do everything my mom wanted me to do. Like seeing Kurt? Yeah, exactly. Amongst many other things. But yeah, it's hard to let go. To see you as an adult, not just... my baby girl. Mom... You were so cute back then. Even cuter than now. Stop. <laughs> and you had the biggest head. Everyone said it. Everyone said, that's the baby with the biggest head. Bowling ball head. The bowling ball baby. <laughs> yep. And it was all your dad. On my side, we all have perfect, tiny little heads. Like golf balls. Mm-hmm. So... What do you think about the whole August thing? Moving in with her? Yeah. I guess it's a big decision, moving to Chicago. Yeah, that's putting it mildly. Would you want to move in with her? It seems like a good choice. Even if it's just for a while, at least we'd have a place to stay. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. Are you worried about the theater? Or my school? These days I'm worried about everything, but I'm confident too. Confident we can figure it out. Yeah. We've been through so much this last year. You've been through so much. I just, I have to have faith that we'll continue to make things work. Yeah, me too. I will say, August's house is pretty nice. Her bathtub is the size of my bedroom. Yeah, I mean, it'll be worth it for the bathtub alone. We should call August and tell her about all this. Oh, hey August, guess what? Our dad really is our dad. <laughs> you can sleep easy. We're not French-Canadian after all. <laughs> <laughs> and whatever we end up doing, I'm just glad I'm glad you're with me. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> <laughs>